co-host with me? We brought grapes. Here, here you go. Oh, look, look what here. I got. There's a grape. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. And oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to grape. tease you. I didn't mean to tease. I'm I sorry. I think you just got told by a monkey. The yoga master positions the horse <laughs> in the various. <laughs> it is strange. It is strange video, isn't it? Actually, doing a handstand on the horse at one point. <laughs> At one point, whether or not this is good for the horse is unclear. If I see the rancher down the street doing this to the horses, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that it's yoga. The Marine Fisheries Commission members, excuse me, don't agree. <clears throat> the new restrictions would come in the form of a law. <laughs> Look at that cat. Look at that cat. It's like Jab of the Hut. <laughs> but it's funny because this is an empty bottle. <gasps> oh, oh, not entirely. <laughs> Well, now it smells really good in here, that's for that's sure. That's called alcohol abuse, I hope you realize. <laughs> well, this was from yesterday. We were celebrating the launch of our oh, new... I have day-old champagne on my legs. And I, I smell it. Can't wait till the boss our walks Our bosses in. are going to be concerned <laughs> when we were doing this. Split your pants, honey. I'm worried about your pants. <laughs> Too much ugliest dog competition. Oh my word! What happened to that? The winner gets fifteen hundred dollars. Organizers say it's not about making fun of the ugly dog, but it's a way to showcase pets that don't meet the traditional standards of beauty. I'm not laughing at the pets. I'm laughing at Bob's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I'm sorry. I just caught Let's something I can't story. get. Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Are you okay? I just stopped laughing and I couldn't stop. <laughs> what's yes. a furry convention? Did I get that wrong? Oh, gosh. Okay. Officials were called when I. Yeah. Strong over chlorines. What? <laughs> Spread the. <laughs> I think they had to evacuate the building and everything. Sent the hotel guests, along with convention attendees, into the cold night. Many still dressed in their furry, furry <laughs> costumes. Much of a wear, it's going to be hot. Shut it. Man, I don't need a jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his bike. <laughs> yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> we cannot. Oh my God. <laughs> at Lords to look ahead at this first test. I. Okay. Nope. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we got a we got a lash. We got a lash off. Uh, let me oh tell you about God. this, you know. Snorting. <laughs> for sixty-four dollars, a professional instructor will take you for a three-hour heart-pounding lap ride. Uh, 
190. <laughs> a three lap ride. Three lap ride, thank you. Not a lap ride. <laughs> $499. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you can read them on the street. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh my god. <laughs> we have the giggles. <laughs> I could cry. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. <laughs> All right, let's get here. Let's do your weather now. Oh my gosh. All right, pollen count 10 out of 10. Mulberry weeds and grass are in the air. Bull count is 6 out of 10. Air quality is good for the valley. And we'll see 73 for your high today. Here's Rob Johnson. <laughs> And when the city is dealing with someone, uh, a few years ago, one boy actually. Children Cadley, what a channel three. I went to do. Throw a top out of Washington. Let's now take a look at that satellite tape taken from earlier today. We can take a look at the cloud cover across much of the uh, nation. Lest you be faced with a boring weekend, we have labored long to compile a list of free things to see and do. We call it Friday Free for Free. <laughs> Friday Freebies. Here it is. Ever go around a corner in your car and your coffee goes flying all over the place? The answer is yes, you might like this new product that we found. It's called the Incredible Calypso Beverage Holder. And as you can see, when I tilt the back of this... <gasps> Most tourists head to Egypt to see its... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> to see its ancient treasures. But near the old port city of Alexandria, Americans can visit... <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Just go to Egypt. <laughs> the suspects range in age from 6 to 13. Correction, we have another story. All right. And I don't have the script. Robin, have you got A5? Or can we get it on prompter? We don't have A5. It's on prompter. Back it up. Put it, Just back put it, it up. on A5, and we will read this story as soon as we get to the top of it. Back it up. Back it up, please. In the beginning of A5, we don't have it here. There you go. There we go. We'll get there soon. All right. Okay. New Center 8's Sandy Lesko is standing by live at the Yorktown Cinema, where Rocky is drawing pretty good crowds. Sandy? Tim and Denise, this theater is definitely full tonight. Even though many people are at home preparing for tomorrow's feast, Rocky IV is drawing them in. Now, traditionally, summertime and the Christmas season are the biggest money makers at the box office. But this past summer was a big disappointment in box office revenues. But local theater owners are hoping that movies like Rocky IV will give them a much needed boost. Obviously, that young man behind you was very excited about the new Rocky movie. And as you guess it, he's horsing around as usual. Jeff? Uh, David, we're going to make television history. I'm going to try to mount this bare-backed horse. Let me try here. Whoa. Oh, we made it, but I think it's mad that I'm up here. Whoa! Oh, gosh. Oh, no. As I said, he was mad that I was up there. Are you, are you okay? Completely planned that. No, I'm not okay. I think I cracked a vertebrae. But anyway, uh, we're oh, benefiting my. Mesker Zoo. Ron Young will be the next victim up there in a few moments. And uh, we'll have the weather forecast for you, too. That's what we call a spirited horse, Is right? our insurance paid up? I hope so. Okay. Talk to you later. Wow. Ah, I can't do it. Uh, can we ride a little bit? Come on, let's oh, get yeah, up. Get up. Get up. There you go. He does move. Come on, get up. Get there you up. go. Oh, oh, okay. That's, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Just, whoa, okay. Oh, there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Oh, okay? boy. Are they all right? Wait a minute. Oh, boy. Are we okay? Whoa. Okay. See? Not bad. <laughs> your weather got it. We're going. <laughs> okay, we better go back to you guys here. I don't know where we're going, but <laughs> we may jump this fence there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is he? Oh, he's okay. He's there, he's okay now. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Here's a story you may not believe. A University of California Medical Center team has successfully removed a 200-pound ovarian tumor one yard in diameter from a 30-year-old woman. 
Physicians said that the tumor had been growing since the patient, who was not identified, was 15 years old and asked a doctor about an enlargement of her stomach. The doctor told her she was eating too much and put her on a diet. A seven-member team removed the benign tumor. After four and a half hours of surgery on May 24th, the patient was released from the hospital this week and said it's the first time in years I've been able to cross my legs. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.